Hi guys, this is Baz with Paul. Welcome back to Run Vegan Run. And Gaines. Gainesville! This is episode two of my running adventures. And the first thing I want to do is update you a little bit because as I've mentioned before, I'm using an app called RunKeeper. And you can look up your results on RunKeeper. So just for those of you who are following the progress, this is in June, so pretty much since we started doing this video. Um, I've run 89.2 kilometers. I've been running distances between 6 and 16 kilometers. So that was my longest so far, which I did in 1 hour and 38. My average pace for June, so across all of those runs, is 5 minutes 52 a kilometer. My target pace is 541. So to run a marathon in under 4 hours, which is what I want to do, you have to run 541 on average. So I'm at about 11 seconds, seconds above that, but that's okay because all of the training so far has always been about distance rather than speed. So we're, we're on track there. I've burned 8,144 calories That's so impressive. far, and I've spent eight hours and 44 minutes running amongst my friends. That puts me in place number two. Great. So one thing I just wanted to quickly mention, I've had a little bit of a setback, unfortunately, because on my last run, which is where I started interval training. So it's a five mile run, the first mile I run at what they call conversational pace, so about six minutes a kilometer. And then I should have run three miles at target pace, so 541 or below, and then I should have run another mile at slow speed. But unfortunately, about six kilometers into the run, I've done something to my knee and I had to stop running and it really, really hurt. I was still 1.2 miles away from my house and I had to hobble off that quickly. Yeah. Yeah. That was really bad. So I'm a bit concerned at the moment. It's sort of a, I guess, a tendon or something on the left-hand side of my left knee. So I'm going to rest for about 10 days, 14 days, but I'll keep you updated. I'm not giving up on the marathon, don't worry. But anyway, long story short, I've got Paul with me again. Thank you so much for being part of this again. My pleasure. And we have promised to speak about vegan nutrition. So last time we spoke about the amount of calories that I need to up and up and up. And obviously with the amount of exercise I do. And you did some research. You've made loads of notes on what sort of foods are good to eat when you need lots of nutrition. And so over yeah. to you, I'm gonna be quiet. So uh, as I said, I favor a high carb, low fat, whole food, plant-based diet, bit of a mouthful. Ooh. But basically you wanna eat really well of fruit, vegetables, and starchy grains, potatoes, that sort of thing. So rice, quinoa, oats are particularly good. I like quinoa. Potatoes, sweet potatoes. One way to get a lot of potatoes in, I've started to enjoy baked chips. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah, a yeah. video on my site. No, please check it out. Like we say this every time, check out Henge Herbivore's channel. It's full of crazy stuff. So, and then like fruit wise, it wants to be kind of the tropical fruit. So bananas, papayas. Durian. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> mm, I keep durian. trying. <laughs> also dates, lychees, grapes, blueberries. Yeah. The higher the higher calorie things, you, you know, you won't get enough calories in eating apples. And, but yeah, beetroot juice. Our, our postman at the gym, and he's a really nice guy. He started breaking all sorts of records just by adding in beetroot juice. And can breaking you buy that? Beet. Yeah, you can buy it. There's one called Beat It. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to just juice beet your own. Yes. <laughs> but it's funny, someone at work the other day, she's a yoga trainer of some 25 years, she said to me, beetroot juice, she said, that's the secret. I'm like, okay. yeah. And now you're the second person to tell me so. Yeah, fast so dilate to open up to all your veins and arteries and uh, yeah, yeah lots, of, lots of more oxygen to your muscles, so it's very good benefit. Coconut water as well, really high hydrating and high in uh, minerals. <laughs> you like coconut water, don't you? I, I really favour it. it. Ah. Lots of electrolytes, very, yeah. very hydrating. I'm um, also I was going to touch on carb gels. Are you using any gels currently? In Not the, yet, no. But I probably training? will have to do in preparation for the longer you, runs. Yeah, yeah, you need to see how your body tolerates them. Some people okay. don't get on so well. You can do a whole foods version as well. I asked one of my good friends, and he's a triathlete, and he told me dates, lemon juice, coconut water. You can probably use other water though. Dash of coloured sea salt or rock salt if you want. Blend it to a drinkable consistency. But again, you know, with a whole food, maybe with, when you're training it digest so well so you need to kind of try these things in training yeah, and yeah, see yeah. But obviously you'll be relying on more carbohydrate than fat burning so get practicing now and see how you tolerate the difference can you say anything about vegetables i know this is very fruit based but like things like avocado for example have a lot of good calories in them as well yeah but they're very very fatty so if you're going high carb low fat you probably only want like one avocado for a week or for a day for a day or, yeah for a day oh for one day. avocado a day is more than i um, eat at the moment and that would probably be most of your overt fat and i would get in you need to balance your omega threes and sixes you don't want too much more than about three to one omega six to three and a good yeah. way to balance that is lots of right, flax yeah. seeds chia seeds get those in have a look on the chronometer app and you can see the balance easily yeah. on there yeah you recommended that last time i've yet yeah. to download that that's an app i think that i know <laughs> terrible i think it's an app that you put in the food and it tracks all the minerals and the, the nutrients and stuff so you can see exactly where yeah. you are if you're lacking in anything 
Yeah. And of course, any vegan diet, which you mentioned, you always obviously need to supplement your B12. Please supplement B12. Anything else you want to say? No, nope, that's about it. Awesome, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back for another episode. As I said, I'm not going to go running, but we, I think we're going to do one on sort of stretching and good exercises for pre and post running, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Vegan games!